My name is Mukungirwa Jean Pierre. I'm a senior instructor in food and beverage service operations. I warmly invite you to follow this video series. About our video series, we have like nine video series. The first one is performing restaurant opening duties. The second one is set restaurant tables, but we have two different types of setting a table in a restaurant. So we shall start with a la carte setup and then following with a table dot setup. After that, we shall do hosting duties and then we shall take food and beverage orders. After taking food and beverage orders, we shall serve beverages, but all beverages are not uh, served as wine, reason why we separated two videos about drinks. So the wine, we shall see it as uh, its own service. And then we shall see how we can serve food. We can clear tables. We can present the bill. And then after, how we can bid farewell to our guests. And then the last one, the last video of this series will be about performing closing duties. I invite you to follow the first video, which is performing restaurant opening duties. In this video, we shall see how we can assemble and clean restaurant equipment, whereby we shall talk about hygiene, and then we shall wipe cutlery and glassware. And after that, we shall see how we can arrange a restaurant service area. Normally, in a fine dining restaurant or a hotel with five star, four star, they normally use what we call side station or sideboard for a waiter just to make easy the service. So we shall see how uh, we can set the side station. So I really encourage you uh, to follow and please take note. So let us start uh, by assemble and clean restaurant equipment. Here, to clean equipment, we need container in plastic, a container, or uh, the container can be in plastic or in stainless steel. And then we need hot boiling water. The third thing is that we need vinegar. And this vinegar, we shall see uh, its function. And then the next thing that we need to, to clean or to wipe our equipment is aluminum foil. And then the last one is the salt, the salt. So, ladies and gentlemen, whenever you start your shift, you have to wash your hand so that you make the service good and uh, your guest will be safe because always in a bar on, or in a restaurant, we don't uh, wear gloves. So reason why we have always to wash our hand regularly. So as I washed my hand before, but here I have a sanitizer. So I'll sanitize my hand so that I can proceed with wiping cutlery. Yeah, when uh, we are talking about cutlery, we refer to knives. This is one type of knife, but we have many types of knives. We have fork, but of course we have many types of forks. So we shall talk in deep maybe about cutlery when we shall be uh, setting tables. And the spoon, is among cutlery. Good. So, in order to polish or to wipe clearly cutlery, 
We need, of course, a container either in stainless steel or in plastic. And then we need hot boiling water. Like if you want to use like one liter of hot boiling water, you need to put like uh, 10 centiliter of vinegar because the vinegar kills germs. Here we have vinegar. So let me just measure. This is a normal tot of 30 centiliter. So I'll pour like three times. three times to have 90 centiliter and maybe a little, like 10, 10 centiliter. And this vinegar, I'll mix with my hot water because I want all germs to be killed or microbes to be killed and then I have aluminium foil this aluminium foil I'll take like 40 by 40 like this one which I'll place in my hot water and vinegar and this shiny part will be looking on the higher parts of my water. And then here, as I'm trying to mix my hot water, hot boiling water, one liter and 100 centiliter of vinegar, and as you can see we have aluminium foil in the water so I'll mix the aluminium foil with two teaspoons of salt and this will help uh, the cutlery to be shiny so I'll take my cutleries my cutlery here so I have like As you can see, I'm trying to take cutlery by family, by group. So here I have many course fork. So I put it in the water. I take knives, knives, which I want to, to, to wipe. And I have uh, dessert forks. and different types of spoons. So here, after putting all in the container, I have to soak them for five to 10 minutes. So while we are waiting our cutlery to, to soak, I'll go to the second step, which is cleaning and polishing glassware. To clean and polish a glassware, you need also a container, either plastic container or a stainless steel container. And then you fill that container or a basin with a hot boiling water. And you have to use a dry glass cloth. And then after that, let us say here I have a different kind of glasses. Here we have this, it's a, a white wine glass. You hold the base of the glass to, to be cleaned and then you place the glass uh, above 
a pot steaming hot water. And then you let the steam moisten the glass and rotate the glass to allow uh, the steam to circulate fully uh, the inner side of the glass. And then you hold the base here. If I'm talking about the base is this part. You hold it with your glass cloth and then you place the hand, uh, your hand underneath the glass, the glass cloth, and you start to polish inside the glass. But you have to make sure that you do it delicately, slowly, because actually I remember when I was a waiter like uh, 15 years ago, I used to wipe a glass as I didn't have the right skills of wiping the glass, I used force and the glass broke. And you know what happened? I was wounded. I think that you can't do like what I did like 15 years ago. Good. And then here you delicately or just slowly you turn the glass cloth in the glass, but what you have to avoid is to touch the glass because you may leave fingerprint on the glass. Good. After finishing this part, you have to make sure that even the base of your glass is really a bubble, is well wiped. Okay, if you can look at this glass, it's a bubble glass. This glass is clean, is ready to be used. So this is the glass with stem. If I'm talking about stem, is this part of the glass. So we have a lot of glasses which doesn't have stem. For instance, this glass, a whiskey glass or old fashioned glass. And this is another glass without stem. So we use the same procedures. So here we look for the steam just to allow us to, to wipe clearly our glass, but we don't touch the glass while wiping. So as you can see, we have a steam here in the glass, and then you put the glass cloth in the glass and then you start to wipe. Slowly, glasses are very delicate, so you don't need to use force, too much force. Slowly and you do it like anti-clockwise. And then, if you can see, this is a bubbled, uh, old-fashioned glass or whiskey glass cleaned, ready to be used. Good. So here we demonstrated how we can wipe and polish glassware. But remember that after wiping glasses or polishing glasses, you see here I didn't touch uh, to the glass, right? But when I finish, I'll be forced to touch the glass. But there are some parts that I'm not allowed to touch. Like here, if I touch here, if you can see, if you can see, there is a fingerprint. Please remember to just hold it by using the steam or the stem, this part of the glass, the wine, the wine glass. Good. So the same, the same principle 
we use it here at the glass without stem. After polishing the glass, if you want to, to hold it or to take it to use your hand, you use this down part here, not the up part. Because if you use uh, the finger here, the fingerprint will be shown. Good, so I put it like this. Okay, and that's it.